No technical difficulties, Arg. Don't jinx us like that. Hey guys. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are doing well. One day past Aloy's birthday. She was negative 997 yesterday. Turn the music down. No technical difficulties. I checked game audio. Norma said, I think I saw Norma say, tell YouTube to behave. Zia Milo, thanks for becoming a member. Appreciate that, man. So, for her birthday, Aloy was trying to get Meldiff to bake her cake, uh, but he wouldn't do it. He didn't have the right ingredients and there was no side quest to get them. I wish you could move around photo mode in, uh, in the settlements. You guys don't have game audio. One second. There we go. Zero deaths today, Sal. Yeah, we'll see. Tidbits, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Appreciate that. So we were doing a lot of gear grinding last time. Um, I think maybe we do some side quests this time. Maybe a little bit more gear grinding. What are we even, what's our loadout right now? The Seeker, I would like to upgrade. We did a bunch of arena. You guys can see I burned through all those fake shards we duplicated with the Whisper Hunter bow. So we're not not cheating or anything. No cheating. I know some people don't like that. Um, maybe we'll do the Deluge. I'm kind of curious about the Deluge right now because I've heard some people say um, they get really bad frame rate drops there with all the water. Some of you guys have said that on Discord, I think. And I'm curious about that because there was just, if you didn't know, there was a patch. The 1.1 patch is out for the game, and there's a new um, NVIDIA driver. Lin K, thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. Uh, unfortunately, for some reason, I have this set up to where I can't see how much you donated, but I can see later. But thank you, regardless of how much it was. Are you sure it'll be okay on my rig? It better be. Um, but I'm curious. I don't have a frame rate, over, frame rate overlay or anything up right now, so we won't really know unless it's really bad. But the new patch, I was testing a little bit yesterday and talking to High Kick about this but on Discord, but I'm getting a solid 120 FPS with no frame gen, no DSR, and DLSS on quality, which I couldn't do before. So this patch is pretty, pretty solid, which is cool. I guess there was a bug with rebar that I didn't even realize. Yeah, I think we're pretty, pretty good with what we have in terms of gear right mm. now. Here, you're the rowdy spark we should be thanking for kicking over out of the forge. Petra mentioned you were trouble, and trouble's always welcome at my shop. Take a look. Won't find weapons like these anywhere in the dawn. Guaranteed. Can we sell anything off? Not really. Got some medium machine cores finally. Alright, let's just go do the later. deluge. Maybe this guy will fix my lucky hammer by then. Maybe it'll stop breaking too. Link, your, uh, my streams are saving your sanity while you're trying to get your PC upgraded. What, uh, what components are you trying to upgrade? Is it hard to get them? Or are they just Seriously? more expensive than you want to spend? Ramiramus, good to see you, man. Do I prefer to play Horizon on PC or PlayStation? Um, now I prefer it on PC just because I have a really high-end PC and I can get better. Where is the Deluge, by the way? I can get better frame rates and better visual quality. Plus, they have full DualSense controller integration, which 
I'm playing with the dual sense right now, so all oh, the toolkits all arena it up. Let's get rid of all these traps. Mm, no health potions right now. Let's get the mount and fast travel, craft a few. Hyro, first time here watching live. Glad to have you here. Have you watched some of the recorded streams then? I think this turned into something tasty. Yeah, sidekick. It, the dual sense is working really well on the PC. It's like you do need to connect it with a cable though, if you want to get like all the haptics and everything. Um, so I just have a long cable that I plugged into it, but. I feel like the haptics are this stronger for some reason on PC. Soka was talking about. It looks like the whole place flooded. Maybe from a recent very few survivors on that overlook. I should see if they're okay. Mastermind, nice to meet me live. Thanks for all the tips. Glad you found them helpful. Good to see you here on the stream. Unleash the goof. You excited to break in that PC tonight? Mostly set up. You didn't have the desk to put it on. Oh, frustrating to build the desk. Yeah, Ramiramus, I'm playing with a controller right now. I know I've said this every stream, but I do want to transition to doing keyboard and mouse. Is he all right? Uh, he will be. Uh, there. But what about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. You're Natika. So this must be Bleeding Mark. What's left of it? How do you know this place? The Inker's apprentice and Scalding Spear told me to find you. He was worried something happened to your supply caravan. Well, as you can see, we have more important problems than delivering ash blood. What happened here? The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. As you heard, we have many missing. But I need to keep watch on these two. I can take a look around. If I find anyone, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. And if you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, uh, tell him... Tell him I'm here. She's not... She doesn't look how I remember. I haven't done this quest in a while, though. Might be able to use my focus to find any survivors. Machine slaughter. Yeah, I have I have tried on mouse and keyboard off stream. And I can play okay. I just I'm so used to controller after two years of it, you know. And I like the haptics, so. Gamer Girl Sean, good to see you. Yes, it is Friday. Hope you're excited. Arg, I have a it's called a Ponage P W N A G E Stormbreaker. So I it's metal but it's like honeycomb, so it's really light. And I think it's titanium, I wanna say, but maybe it's just aluminum. They probably say it's titanium, it's not. Titanium's really freaking expensive and hard to, hard to uh, mold and work with. Yeah, I really like it. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Like they always make these honeycomb mice like really Can small. Anyone hear us? Where are you? We're trapped in this tower. Trapped in Flood the tower. Flood blocked the way we came in. There's a ladder at the top, but we can't reach it. Okay, I'll find a way to get to you. I need to get to the ladder at the top of the building. Maybe there's a way to cross over from the broken Some one next nasty time. water. Ugh. The water feels thick. Adamantium. Unobtainium. It's just radioactive plutonium, actually. It's really heavy. But they're all, all these companies are obsessed with, you know, getting the lowest number of grams on their mouse. And it's like, okay, 52 versus 54 to make it a little bit more ergonomic. I don't, I wish it was just a little bigger. But I really like it. I think I do something with mice where like my left my left click I like 
push too much to the left with my finger over time and it kind of messes up the button. Like it seems like my left click button always gets a little bit loose over time. So I'm hoping the metal buttons hold up better than typical plastic ones. Excuse me. Hey, Outlander! These machines got us trapped up here. We lost our weapons in the mudslide. Oh wait, we have Sit tight. Right? I'll take care of them. My drill spikes. Excuse me, snap off. Why am I not getting the grapple strike prompt? frames all day. That was a close one. Ooh, got a strike through there. That was pretty nice. Hold still, would you? Be safe at his mouth now. We're coming down. Bolt blaster. Man, I haven't used a bolt blaster consistently in my loadout for a while. The YouTube stream stuttering a little bit. Mm. Could be download speed. Bryce convinced you to finally try Shredders, and you get how strong it is now. Awesome, man. Shredder make it better. Shredder make it better. T 
tidbits. That's the one thing you find annoying in both Horizons game. You zoom for an accurate shot. Oh, yeah, like a tree or something blocks your view. Yeah, that is annoying. Is everyone okay? Better now, without snap maws prowling around. You sure know how to fight. We saw some of our comrades stuck on the eastern cliffs. Oh. They could use a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. Have you seen Kentok? Natika asked me to keep an eye out for him. Last I saw him was before the mudslide hit. Okay. Head for the shore, on the other side of the village. Natika's there with the other survivors. Will do. Thanks again. Did we loot everything? No. A few more medium machine cores, that's good. Need a lot of those. Yeah, I'm not. I made sure I'm not using the AV1 encoder. So I think YouTube should be okay from my end. Although obviously there's no guarantee of that. But it is in 1440p, which most people don't stream in 1440p. So if your if your app or browser is trying to pull 1440p, you might want to manually put it on 1080 or something lower if you don't have enough download speed. Ruin Racer, yeah, I am playing on controller on PC. It is not just you. Whoa, dude, you finally finished the main story quest on Ultra Hard. Nice, congrats. Thought I heard some green shine. Couldn't work out. I'll do this one without watching videos. Yeah, it took me a minute the first time, too. A little bit of a puzzle. Outlander. Up here. We've got wounded up here. Need an easy way down. I know the little bit. I must be stuck on something else. My focus can help me search. There, more rubble. Igniting that fire gleam should clear it. Pretty wild that giant rusty crane doesn't just fall apart after a thousand years. Okay, crane's in place. Now, how to lower it to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. See if there's a way to move it. RXQ, do I mostly buy or get my resources from hunting? Um, it's a mix, I would say. I mean, I think something a lot of people sleep on is getting resources from the salvage contractors using metal blocks. You can get a lot of high level resources without having to actually fight the difficult machines early on by doing that. Work from this but angle. you have to hunt for a lot of them no matter what. From here. I have to get up higher. Right. From Aramis, did I watch we go. tutorials on how to do? Probably a few. I don't remember now. Oh, damn it. Arm's stuck on something. I better climb up and take a look.
Grundle. There's a mod that lets you walk to the DLC area. That's interesting. I'll have to check that out. I would imagine it's not very heavily, uh, like, landscaped. Like, it's pr pretty bare. That is interesting, though, because that would mean maybe they originally intended us to be able to walk there. Does it go down? Let me ask you this. Does it start from here? Like, by the dam here? And then goes... Well, we don't have it unlocked, but... If I detach those cables, the arms should drop the rest of the way. Yeah. This thing's about to drop! Watch out! We're clear. Blood of the Ten. How'd you manage to do that? Any tips on beating the melee teacher? Um, the Enduring? Yeah. I don't have a video on it. You want to use Block Breaker a lot. That's like the number one thing. But my friend Slazinger, Mr. Fancy Pants, made a really good guide on all the melee pits, including the Enduring. Before you go, and that is linked word. in the database, which is linked in the description of the stream and all my videos. If you need some tips, he has videos and everything that go with it. It's really good. I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. And by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the ten. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. When the mudslide hit, I saw some of the others running towards the metal towers. You might want to check there. Thanks. I'll look into it. Ooh, that that was a little talk. dicey, Aloy. Maybe he's with the other survivors. Vanessa, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Friday. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should do a, in a week or two here, a, a full uh, melee pit, an enduring guide, just walking through every challenge. It's the sort of thing I think a lot of people just kind of do towards the end to get 100%. The glide jump on mouse and keyboard. Um, do you mean the super glider or just like this? Yeah, the two guys at the bulwark are really tough. That's a very tough one. That works. Now I just need to climb inside to get to the top. Should be able to cross over to the survivors. Yeah, Grundle, you do get a buff from that. Permanent. They won't stack from new game pluses though. So you can only get it once. Oh, sorry, Vanessa. Shake off this wet. Huh. 
argue use traps on the pitmasters. They do deserve it. If only you could knock them off a cliff. would be the dream. There's a ladder on the other building. I can make that jump. Whoa, whoa! No! That was our only way out! Well, if that was your way out, why weren't you getting out? Everyone okay? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened? To the others there are more who made it they're safe now thank the ten as soon as you're out head for the shore natika is waiting on an overlook there so she survived good we'll join her as soon as we have a way out okay sit tight for now dead eye what outfit is this um it's the karja blazon and I dyed it with the Stormbird Skies die, which you unlock by doing the Daunt Hunting Grounds. Yeah, Eagle. I did hear there was a earthquake in the Northeast this morning. That's pretty rare. That's not a very geotechnically active area. Is that what you'd say? I'm originally from... New York State, not the city, but I'll have to ask my parents later if if they felt it. I think it was like a 4.7, which is not a crazy earthquake, but somewhat moderate. I don't think it, like, messed anything up knocked any buildings down or anything like that. It'd have to be quite a bit stronger. That should do it. Okay. You should have a way out. Thanks. We'll head to the shore in a moment. Okay. I think that's it for survivors. But I didn't see Ken talk among them. I, I hear should green head back to Natika. Let her know. Where is it? Oh, I have something to show you guys. Some a new thing somebody mentioned in a comment. It's a small little trick, but kind of interesting. We'll do it after this quest. Eagle, that was your first time experiencing an earthquake. Yeah, I've experienced one as well. It was a little freaky. The The strength of the one I experienced out here was probably like a three, I think it was like a three point something. It kind of just felt like there was a big truck driving by the building for like longer than a truck would be driving by. Rest now. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers are safe, but Where's Ken talk? I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the chief's guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanakh are stubborn fighters, but Ken talk is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. 
I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. You felt three earthquakes, Norma? Wow. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to his squad. <laughs> He's tough as a shell snapper. Unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself. Yes. And yet he wants me to be tethered to this place. Rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with the chief's guard. Wow, Azure Sky. Ten, more than ten times in Taiwan you've experienced earthquakes? That's crazy. I guess they're pretty common over there. Sal, you, you had a 7.9 you experienced. That's pretty. That's a pretty strong one. You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the Chief's Guard. Is that what the Marshals are? No. The Marshals travel the breadth of the clan lands, enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The Guard remains at the Grove to defend it and the Chief. But like the Marshals, only a handful are chosen for such an honor. So why did Kentok not want you to go? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the Grove? The Chief himself. David, yeah, I'm playing on PC, but I'm using a controller. So a mudslide did all this? Must have been quite a storm. We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. But this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. But for all this water, we still rely on the capital for our supply. Why is that? This water is poisoned by ash blood, undrinkable as machine oil. Steve, you did the quest, and you didn't get the uh, the merchants in this area to appear. I think you have to go back to Scalding Spear first and talk to them. The Inker's apprentice in Scalding Spear mentioned you exchange ash blood for water. It's the way of the desert, where other villages hunt for food or machine parts to trade with the capital. We collect rocks. Important <laughs> rocks. The clan relies on ash blood to mark their skin. How can they record their glories without our supply? Don't look at her like that, Aloy. We collect rocks, too. A lot of rocks. I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see? Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him. Towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come. I'll show you. Natika. We need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Fresh, you only played Horizon because it came with your PS5 and you didn't know about it before that. Uh, if you haven't played Zero Dawn, the first game, you should definitely do that. Noticing it get weird here in terms of frame rate. That must be the gouge. With all the water. Oh, sidekick, you gotta play Go. CD. Time to head in. Gotta play Zero Dawn, man. I'm jealous you haven't played. I would love to experience okay. it for the first time again. Let's see where this leads. Uh, Roberto, yes, they do. Eva, hello. Take it easy. Good to see you. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, not my name. Natika sent me to find you. 
The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so he made it. Good. And Natika. She came back. Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. It was my mistake to deny her discharge. A soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. So... Leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out, but it's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? But not from where I came in. There must be another source. And if I find it, and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey. I need you to stay hey. awake. Wake up. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. Oh, it must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. The deluge. Dark light. If you max out an outfit, then the Burning Shores legendary weaves that increase skills aren't much help. Uh, depends what skills you're trying to max out. But yeah, generally if you max out an outfit, you're going to get, like, let's see, you're going to get plus two on pretty much or all of your skill perks. And if you have those same skills unlocked in the skill tree, then you'll be at max level four for those skills. So it's it's more about, like, new legendary outfits are more about getting access to different sets of perks to kind of optimize your build for your playstyle. Hey, Dara, don't sleep on the grapple launch. Who told you that? Water's coming from the vent. Sergio, no, I have not seen the new Godzilla. There must be another source. This is still buggy to try and hook this guy, isn't it? Needs a backup. Try again. Yeah, Nora Lou, the, the story in Zero Dawn is something special. I am really curious for somebody who played Forbidden West first and then goes back and plays Zero Dawn. Like, is it as um, impactful when you play Zero Dawn? Because some of the backstory you're going to have spoiled a little bit. Yeah. But you're not really gonna like know all the details unless you're paying really close attention in Forbidden West and like reading data points and things like that. Trey, yeah, that's exactly right. Although I would say you can pretty much always optimize to where you're not wasting coils or perks 
you know, going okay. past max level four. The waterfall I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. Although, I, if you have I a specific a build in mind, I suppose maybe there's no way to avoid that. that... Uh, ruined racer? No, I haven't. I haven't showed you the little trick yet. It's not a huge deal. Don't worry. It's just uh, something about shredders that I didn't know. Something about shredders I didn't know? Tebow, you saw HZD? Oh no, sorry, who said that? Romerimus. 10 pounds in the 10 euro in the store you can get it online for like 10 or 12 13 euro pretty consistently water's coming in from there i can use the fire gleam to break open that wall and this whole place should flood the rat can't us a way out. Almost there. Hey, stay with me. Tell Natika. You tell her yourself. She said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. Tell her yourself. I'm not leaving you on this door, Jack. only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Bleeding Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done... I could join the Chief's Guard, but I have to lay him to rest first. With full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. What? Whatever you decide. What do we put in our pocket? A giant weapon that could never fit in there? Oh, right, the outfit. This is a pretty solid outfit, to tell you the truth. It's kind of a weird mix, but for being able to just complete a relatively easy quest, it's a pretty solid reward. Uh, Darklight. Sal, yeah, I did one of the gauntlet runs already. We should probably do them all because I'd love to get the Karja's Bane. Have I decided between the Gravesinger and Erives? 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 I don't know how you prefer to say it. Um, I definitely like the Gravesinger better. Erives? Erives? Uh, obviously, with the elite precision arrows, can deal more damage. But the thing with. Oh, I don't have it here. What am I talking about? The thing with. Um, Let's go back to Scalding Spear. The thing with the Gravesinger is it has strike through arrows and knockdown arrows. Um, and it has the strongest advanced precision arrows, not elite. So they're not as strong as Eerev's elite ones, but in my opinion, you don't need that much power and they're really expensive to craft. So, and the Gravesinger also draws faster, so 
Damn, they saw me. I definitely like the grapes here. Uh, yes, duping is still possible. still debating between the two sharp shot bows dark light yeah i mean they're both obviously really good heroes has a really awesome set of perks too yeah different weapons do have if they have a draw speed perk then they'll draw a little bit faster Kick, you're using shredders and warrior bows for the first time? You mean the first time you're doing that combo or the first time you're using either of those in your loadout? First time for either, really? We didn't, uh, we didn't make you a shredder convert before now? Yeah, dark light. See that those elite arrows are expensive. That's that's why part of why I like the Grave Singer better. Mm, who do we have to talk to? The the, the face painter guy. Ruined Racer, what would I say is the best hunter bow and sharp shot bow? I like the Banuke weapons. Oh, I guess we don't have to talk to him. I kind of do want to change up our face paint, though. Not a very responsible use of shards right now. But we gotta look good, you know? Yeah. Ruined Racer, any specific recommendations for the Banuke weapons? Um, I think the Striker Bow would be the first one I'd pick up, personally. trade we could do thirst for the hunt where's the next gauntlet run at oh way over by thorn marsh huh Do a relic ruin. Let's do a relic ruin real quick to level up. Oh, here we go. Zapped underground. Look at this bird.
Burrower. We killed him like part way out of the ground. You made it to the stream. Good to see you. That ruin looks a little more intact than some of the others out here. I wonder if I can find anything interesting inside. Oh, we can, Aloy. We certainly can. Same water system as Morland's ruins. Looks like there's a drain beyond that grate in the wall. This crate could come in handy. Yeah, shutters do have a little bit of an area of effect. Norma, you think you lost a few brain cells doing these? I think you gained a few brain cells doing these. Our guy actually was lactose intolerant as a kid. Hmm. This crate looks like it can block the drain. Oops. Oh, how does this go again? Let's see. Looks like it needs a key module. I always stick the crate in there first and forget you have to get up here. Scott, you enjoy the videos and they help? Glad to hear that. Thanks for letting me know. Good to see you here on stream. Water's flowing towards the drain in the wall. Whoa. Water's rising fast. Keep me awake. A key module. Okay, I'm in. See what I can do with this. Yeah, we'll work this close. Hey, Loy. 
follow. <laughs> Norma. It became night, so you just waited till it became day so you could see. Yeah, get up, get a snack. Get a drink. Okay, daytime. Resume the relic room. Sergio? I do, indeed. Focus on the other side. I uh, kind of use that as a prop in a lot of videos, actually. swim but okay crates I wonder if they can float it's floating right now Aloy where are you supposed to stand for this over there. somewhere Haley up here we are another one of these relics hmm based on this data I think this thing is related to something around here maybe Morlin's crew might know Missed a chest there. What should we do now? See through the pass? Mm. Can maybe do thirst for the hunt. Get that off the list real quick. Oh, the shredder trick. Right. Uh, let's see. We can go. It's just a small thing.
So somebody watched my Shredder video. And in the Shredder video, I show the dummies in um, Chain Scrape that you can practice on. And I'm like, if anybody finds anything else or these dummies anywhere else that you can practice on, let me know. Well, look at this. They bounce off metal flowers. So, not really super useful as far as I can think of, but kind of interesting and a good, good little trick for practicing a lot more places. That is all. Underwhelming, I know. Ramirez, you got a competition tomorrow? A swim competition? Whatever it is, good luck. It was good to see you here. Have a good night. All right, where's Dra Draka? Aloy, over here. Oh, you came. I'm touched. Heard you've been causing all kinds of trouble. Regala must be thrilled. You'll have to excuse the mess. Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon and harvesting parts. Feel free to take any supplies you need. Our prey isn't far. I'm right behind you. Trey, they also bounce off Fire Gleam? Interesting. This way. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. Our so-called commander's always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spears dying of thirst? Or her own squad? Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to fight tooth and nail to survive. And I'm guessing that someone is you? I'd make sure everyone gets all the water they need. No matter what village they're from. Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go around to begin with? We're here. Crystal, you need some tips for fighting the final boss in the main game? Let's have a word before we head in. Um, Heard you've been causing all kinds of trouble. Regala must be thrilled. I'll help you harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, we will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in and pick them off. Now, we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow. Follow. Hold on to any hearts you loot and I'll take them from you later. I'll hold on to my own hearts. Thank you very much, Draka. Yeah, Crystal, I, I don't want to spoil stuff on stream. Um, so probably joining the Discord and asking for some tips would probably be best. What cauldron did you come from? They could show me how to override you. They are we tasked, right? Yeah. Oh! Shake it off, Aloy! <laughs> awesome. Well, that was a nice waste of resources. Where's the other Ravager? Oh. Well, that's the Fanghorn. I think he's... Oh, he's up there. That's right. See, Aloy, we have rocks.
traps work correctly outside the arena? That's kind of what I'm trying to figure out here. Walk. Worked okay that time. Looks like we got a fight on our hands. Come on, give us a fight worth thinking. Fight worth thinking. Keep those hits coming. Tend to the dead. Make sure their tags get back to their families. If you can harvest the machine hearts, I'd be grateful. I'm not leaving these machine hearts. Don't worry, Draka. Oh, Tortillo, I, I'm a, I'm leveled up a little bit now. Need to get the hearts. That's all the parts we need. I should take these to Draka. I 
think there's some loot up here. Send this to my stash. Measly loot. Measly. Here's some better stuff. I'll keep some extra on hand. of the ten carry you home my brother i got the hearts we should head back to arrowhand yeah at least now we can bag and tag these soldiers oh, hold on since you can clearly handle a bunch of angry machines i want to go back to where the thunder jaw hit us i lost a lot more fighters there i can't just leave them to rot they deserve to be bagged and tagged too will you come with me lead the way Glad to have you along. Blaze, I actually noticed the opposite. I feel like the haptics are stronger on PC. Do you have it plugged in with a cable? Wow, we have over 250 people watching on YouTube. That might be... I'm surprised on a Friday. Welcome to anybody new. If this is your first stream. Good to have you here. Thunder Daddy, bring it. This will be a little tough. Dibbits, thank you for the five gifted memberships once again. Very generous, appreciate that. I thought he was right behind us. Phosphorus, good to see you. How you doing? To Why'd think, you stop, So many have to die just to give water. Did you try talking to your commander at Scalding Spear? <sighs> Please, the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn. About that, I wouldn't mind having yours at my side if it ever came to it. I'm just passing through, Draka. Uh, you can't blame me for trying. <sighs> this is it. Where the Thunderjaw ripped through my squad. I'm sorry, Draka. Someone's alive. By the rocks. Wait, I gotta hijack this car. <laughs> Sherry, what was your question? I'm sorry. I must have missed it. Darklight, have I reached 1500 hours? No, I'm at like 1200 something total. Speak sense, soldier. Burrowers.
nice burrowers. That was synchronized. Practice that. This must be why the Bellowbacks won't spawn here before you do this quest. Because the Thunderjaw, like, is sort of set up to spawn here. Plasma arrows should blow that up. that hold still would you apparently making a dent on this thing we need more firepower there's plenty of dead ravagers around we can use their cannons go get one i'll draw the thunder jaws fire give you some room I can't with my stamina give us a fight Oh, that was not smart. Hey, Twinge, thanks for the 10 gifted memberships. Appreciate that, man. for a big hit. Yeah, it probably, I think these quest ones do have less health than a wild one. I also, this one doesn't have all its armor plates on yet either. 
which is nice. Could grapple in for a big hit. Cannons off the dead ravagers. Use them against the thunder jaw. Give me that tail. down thunder daddy shooting off those ravager cannons should help me deal with the big guy just gonna strip him Come on Do now, Draco. Get the heart. I need that, to was that was Aloy. That was Aloy. I should check on Draka and that soldier. Got the tail, right? Yes. Yep. Thanks, guys. Whoops. think I was going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Uh, I know I'm racking up favors here, but uh, did you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Thank you, Aloy. J-type. Aloy ain't cooking, she's smoking. Low heat. Long hours. That's the way to do it. What's sparking over here? The cannon? Ride 
side for arrow hand. Uh, yeah, this is the Karja Blazon outfit. And I dyed it with the Stormbird Skies dye. Tidbits, yeah, stalkers, they're a lot more invisible. You can me in. And I feel like their laser gun does Your more damage, but us. that might just be because I'm low level right now. You've returned. Where's Draka? Just a little late, Chaplain. Gained some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a Thunder Jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here. Something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them to Scalding Spear as soon as you can. And tell the commander how many had to die to get them. But our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding Spear. I'll explain everything. I'll see you there when I can. Good. The entire clan might depend on it. The entire clan might depend on it. I've heard of you, Outlander. Okay, let's see. Hey, thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. Appreciate that. Uh, Foss, I think you were asking if this will be my late game loadout. No, I think I'd like to at least upgrade what we have a little bit more. Let's take a look at what we need. We could do some arena and grab a legendary outfit, which I might want to do. Dirty, oh yeah. I'm surprised there's any non-members left too. I think we get new people rotating through though, so. Scorcher, Apex Stalker, Clamberjaw. Yeah, it's gonna be a little tough. I don't remember off the top of my head what the Vindicator or the Vanquisher outfit requires to upgrade, though. I would like to get the Sun Scourge. We should upgrade this. Frost Claw Sack Webbing. being weird I don't know if I want to do the wound in the sand right now but maybe we'll go see if we can grab a legendary piece of gear and then we'll do seeds of the past Yeah. 
earned any medals yet, Aloy. Champion, or you looking for a challenge? That are regulars by the enemy. So we have 64 medals. We got all these. I thought there was one... Oh, we did eventually get that. Okay. Ring of fire. Our machines aren't going. What can I do for you? Oh, we can just buy this right now. Hmm. I'm gonna grab the vanquisher. Good luck on the hunt. So compared to our valiant. Made See what the we ten guide. Well, safe track. I've heard of you, Outlander. Hmm. Dreadwing. Slitherfang, Thunderjaw. Thunderjaw, Tremor Tusk. Honestly, not terribly difficult components to get, but we need to get Dreadwings unlocked first. Come on. The arena match with the frost claws. <sighs> nice choice of armor. I never thought we'd see the vision for anything. I needed the practice. My blade's not a We have some skill points to spend too. Still pretty low on piercing spikes. Let's see if we can farm a couple Tremor Tusks now that we have some better gear. And then maybe do Seeds of the Past. Monika, can I go over my weapons? So I have the Lightning Hunter bow right now, the Seeker Hunter bow, the Relentless Bolt Blaster, the Spin Thorn Spike Thrower, mostly for the drill spikes, Thunderbolt Shredder, and the Delta Sharp Shot bow. It already is night. I kind of want to unlock this shelter anyway, though. Place to rest. Oh, 
no Apex. Probably haven't killed enough of them yet. We could also try to get the Sun Scourge. Upgrade some pouches too, honestly. No knockdown symbol? Oh. That was a little strange.
plasma is always what gets me. Ah, oh, I should have quit on the frost arrows one shot sooner. See if we can do it faster. through them. Who's going to do the plasma?
I need to get my stamp. in the toe. you falling down there we go probably burned more resources than we got doing that well 20 machine muscle that's pretty good and we got all the ammo drums finally took down Tremmy. you don't see this every day tusk did i not get the i don't think i got the small tusks off did i Another tusk underneath? I think I got the one underneath. I think I only got the two big ones off, unfortunately. Uh, Mark, that was Ranged Master, Valor Surge. Oh yeah, we could loot the rockets. I think even now. I just not around the right angle there. I'm gonna leave you here. I don't know, Arg. Maybe a hitbox bug, yeah. Let's see if we can get an apex one to spawn. Yeah, the hitboxes have been weird on PC. That's for sure. William, I'm using a controller right now. Oh yeah. Could burst that canister with a frost arrow.
You know what? Should probably spend these skill points, by the way. Oh, I unlock these for the arena. Get down to low health defense, low health ranged. Oh, can't. He has chill water canisters. The hunter killer, the guardian of other machines. Missed the shredder there. Focus on getting the plasma cannons off first. Give me an apex. It's 
stop, drop, and roll. Yep. It's always those plasma cannons that get me. Is our outfit weak to plasma? Yeah. So that's not helping. That's definitely not helping. Shock could do a lot of damage. Salvo cannons, yes. No, aren't the salvo cannons the ones on the side? can't move. I could grapple in for a big hit. I was going to focus on the cannons. Better do it. over it and it didn't work no good no good all right third time's the charm right apexed Be nice if you had like plasma resist potions. 
Not that the plasma got us that time, but. Should save my plasma ammo. Maybe something else. Charger, I'm sorry. He just got busted, man. Smoked. cannons off.
Didn't time the knockdown and shock very well there. Stuck with the electricity animation. Tuss, got all the ammo drums. And we got the big guy. Nice. Took three tries, but we got him. Machine muscle. I wish we got some more piercing spikes for this, but... sure we get all our ammo drums. Oh, look at this. They're all right next to each other. And where's the rest of the tusks? I'll save this for a dire. So we should have six total tusks, I think. Oh, seven. Maybe we did get one of the, or maybe we had one from something else. Not the goat. Alright, I think we do Seeds of the Past now. <laughs> Nothing gets anger out me. like some wanton heavy weapon. That's right, Twinge. A lot of debris. Sven, am I collecting the tusks for anything specific? No. Um, I mean, we need a lot of tusks for outfit or gear upgrades in general, but I was mostly hunting the tremor tusks for ammo resources, to tell you the truth. Like machine muscle. I wish we'd gotten some more piercing spikes. They're not the best for piercing spikes, but we got a few. Mount's dead. Let's grab a new one. Yeah, he got wrecked by that tremor tusk. Wrecked.
What's the spike that I used to knock down the machine? Those were drill spikes. So drill spikes deal a lot of knockdown damage. messages appear on the screen. It's with a program called Social Stream Ninja. It's pretty cool. I get a combined chat in my OBS here. So I can see both chats in one feed and it shows me like if it's YouTube or hey, Twitch. It's Eric. I ran into an Osterhoff caravan set up around a watering hole a little way south of our base. They're calling the place Camp Nowhere. Heard they had some trouble crossing into the west. Something about a, a collapsed tunnel. That doesn't sound good. Yeah. I thought that'd get your attention. Secret tunnel? Good luck out there. Secret tunnel. Tortillo, it's free. OBS is free. Social Stream Ninja is free. It's a little tricky to set it up, though. J-Type, yeah. Secret tunnel. Anybody watch the live-action Avatar show? Okay. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about Social Stream Ninja is the way it works is it literally reads the text off um, the pop-out chats. So I have to have the Twitch and YouTube chat popped out on another screen for it to operate. So I have them on my lower screen down there. Uh, but I just don't read them. Coordinates that Gaia gave me for Demeter are close. But I know the guy that developed it mentioned in a, the tutorial video on how to set it up that he would... He was planning to eventually make it um, a standalone program because that's the other thing is it's a, it's a browser plugin for Chrome. So you have to use a Chrome-based browser and you have to have the windows popped out. But I think if he eventually makes it a standalone program, then you won't need to do either of those things. Helix, good night. It was good to see you here. Thanks for hanging out on stream with us. Looks like we're not going to be friends. I need to get past these hostels and into the I ruins. Resonator. How did that taste? Oh my god, I hit a vine with that, I'm pretty sure.
Chase her down! Bring it! Push him off, push him off. I don't think we can. Not one more step, barbarian! Show me that resonator. Show me. For the ancestors! These people. And why are they out for blood? I better get to Demeter fast in case there's more of them. According to Gaia, it should be somewhere in these ruins. this bird doing in here? Oh, it just flew through a wall. This looks like a nice juicy loot box, doesn't it? What's inside this box? Yeah, I thought there was a legendary chest up here too, or somewhere in here. Maybe it's in the camp. Ancient compartment. Looks like some sort of old office complex. one loot it midair Aloy the greenhouse Ferro automated solutions industry leading biotech research facility agritech environmental remediation organic waste management whatever your company needs here at the greenhouse will help solve your problems a feral research facility. Whatever problem, they'll help solve it. Anything? That's quite the statement. A metal flower. Demeter should be right beyond that door. But those vines are right in the way. Once I can cut through them, I'm going to find another way in. I don't know if Phosphorus was here for that before. You can bounce shredders off metal, metal flowers. Someone commented on the shredder video, Foss, that you can bounce shredders off metal flowers. So that means you can kind of practice with them out in the environment more, which is nice. I had never tried that. Yeah, it, seemed, it looked like it was still charging. So you could like maybe pre-charge it that way before a fight. You can bounce them off the energy walls inside cauldrons. Oh, Aloy. A room 
with no way out. <sighs> Great. At least there's a console. Colvir, we're, uh, we're doing the Seeds of the Past main quest. Third subfunction. A log. Just got off the line with U.S. Robot Command. Time's running out. I didn't have the heart to tell Harris that our cure might be worse than the disease. Even if adamantine wreath works, we still have to prove we can curtail the trailing plants efficiently. But Cobble's team is working on it over at Test Station Ivy. He'll come through. He has to. Adamantine wreath. Another secret project. Well, they made the metal flowers here and the vines, so... Maybe I can find a way to destroy them. If I can find Test Station Ivy. How do I get out of here? dead i better be careful uh sludgy no plasma never did receive any kind of buff it's okay like i would say on normal difficulty and lower maybe even hard difficulty it's okay mm, maybe i don't know i haven't played around with it much on hard but no it never got buffed so it's still not take those soldiers out quietly. Still not great in my opinion. There's a barbarian in the compound. She got past the lookouts. Find her, kill her, and bring her head to the lieutenant. Understood. Barbarian. I guess diplomacy is off the table. We better find her. But I'm ready to go home. Oh. Socked him in the face. You are here. Getting some good silent strike animations. Put her down. Hey, going in. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that guy. These people would have talked to me instead of trying to kill me. Yeah, there's a lot of ones like that, Aloy. 
NASA B, thank you for the $15. Super thanks. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. You're loving the stream and learning a lot. Glad to hear that on both accounts. Berserker Hunter Bow. I forgot you got that here. That door looks promising. Sludgy, they're working on the third Horizon game. And they're also working on the online multiplayer spin-off game. your friends out there <laughs> they attacked me if by death alone I can atone our trespass I'm not gonna kill you okay I just want to figure out what's going on where did you get that focus uh, I'm of the chosen people the Quen the ancestors left the power of the focus to us alone the eye that reveals the legacy the legacy, huh? The legacy? Uh, the truth. Now, it is in the darkness and the lost places. Among the ancient ashes and the bones of the before that it lies waiting. Now, as a diviner, it is my task to seek it out for the good of my people. You're looking for data. Maybe we can help each other. What's your name? Alpha. Second diviner of the Eastern Expedition. I'm Aloy. Why don't we start again? Yeah, third game can't come soon, soon enough. Cal, thank you for becoming a member. Appreciate that. I've never heard of the Quen. Our lands lie across the great ocean. We haven't been here before. So why come now? Our homeland has been ravaged by freakish weather. Terrible storms and blistering droughts. The crops are failing. The people are starving. When we looked for answers, it was proposed that if we had the courage to cross the ocean to Legacy's landfall, then we might earn the knowledge we need to save our people. But so far, that knowledge has eluded us. So, your people call this place Legacy's Landfall? No. Uh, landfall is where we arrived. To the west, in the shadows of the sunken city by the Broken Bridge. You mean San Francisco? Yes. You're well versed in the Legacy. It was a place of great <laughs> importance to our ancestors. We had hoped to learn their secrets there, but so far that door remains closed. Even so, the data we discovered there has led us to this place. It might be our last chance. To find something that can save your crops and your people. Yes. If the ancestors will be generous to us once more. You are well versed in the legacy. So you said your ancestors left your tribe that focus? Yes. Thirteen diviners have possessed this one since it was discovered among the ruins in our homeland. I have their honored names committed to memory. So you have one, but none of the soldiers out there did. We each have a role to play. 
No, it is the Diviner's purpose to seek out the legacy, interpret the wisdom of our ancestors for the good of all, and to keep it safe, so that no one but the Diviners know how to use a focus. Not even the Imperial family, and certainly not soldiers. Certainly so not. how many Diviners are there? At Landfall, a small group. Uh, back at home, a few dozen more. That's a guess. Uh, only the Overseers know for sure, and I am not of their rank. So you call data from the ancient past the legacy? Yes. All that is not lost or forbidden. What does that mean? All that we are capable of reading, and that which is permitted. Okay, I'm not sure I get it. That's fine. Um, so what do you use the data for? The greatest secrets are the ones that improve the lives of many. How to tend our crops, how to hold floodwaters back, or even cross the ocean. Technology. That is what I seek here. <laughs> Technology that can help my people back home. Jeff Wayne, you're a new member. Appreciate that, man. Those soldiers, they opened fire on me without warning. Why? Uh, it is the duty of the Quen to seek out the legacy and defend it from the ignorant and envious. Not that you seem ignorant. But back home, other tribes only mean us harm, and we were told the same was true here. Does that come from your legacy? The legacy is truth. But we have been known to misinterpret it. I hope time and the wisdom of our ancestors will guide us down the correct path. Yeah. I hope so, too. Uh, Vilwar, yeah. I live in the U.S. I'm looking for a place in this facility called Test Station Ivy. Have you found any data that mentions it? No. Uh, but I did find something that looks like a map. Uh, but it was unreadable. Lost. Maybe I can make some sense of it. Uh, there. There's a lot of files here. <sighs> I've been through all of them. Look in the GH facility section. Like I said, a lost file. You can't see the map? It's okay. It looks like your focus is an early model. The operating system won't be able to read any files created after the mid-2050s. But I could share them with you. Share them? Alva's adorable. You can see what is lost. Then forbidden. Not lost. Not forbidden, just a... Newer format. There. That's where I need to go. Oh, but you can't get there. We've been here for a week trying to get deeper into the complex. The way has been blocked by rubble. What about this tunnel? It looks like it unlocks from here. No. I thought these might be some kind of access controls, but I couldn't read enough data to make them work. Well, let's try with my focus. Vilwar, it's 247. I believe these consoles were meant to be operated in unison, but I'm not sure. So it's afternoon for me. Should we know you find the videos helpful? Glad to hear that. Good to see you here on the stream. Okay, here we go. Following your lead. The ancestors have shown us the way. Come on, let's go. You want me to come with you? It took both of us to open up that tunnel, didn't it? Didn't it, Alva? Didn't it? Oh, this place is a maze. According to the map, there should be another exit further in. Just stay close. 
Lead the way. Alba, follow. I can't believe you actually got us in. I was dreading having to stay here any longer with those soldiers. The way they slaughtered the barbarians that approached the oh, site. Fire gleam. It was like they enjoyed it. Better Most stand of back. my people aren't like that. Okay. Ryan, you used well, the new skills well. video to respec. Cool, man. I hope I hope it was helpful. I kind of debated whether or not I was going to do that video because I already had videos on um, the best skills to get early, but I made those way back around PS5 launch and they were three of them. And so it was a little disjointed. The recommendations were somewhat outdated, I would say. Not really outdated, but I'm glad I made it. I think it's a good good reference for anybody playing their first time. Yeah, my pouches do need upgrading, Tertio. I have not focused on that, that's for sure. Shwino, yeah, I would say the quality's better on Maybe PC, but you would need a pretty high-end PC to, like, see a noticeable difference. Which I do have, but... We haven't um, tried that smaller tunnel over there. It looks so good on PS5. And PS4, honestly. According to the map, the exit should be this way. That you need some pretty serious hardware to see a noticeable difference on PC, I would say. Must have taken a wrong turn. Ryan, you're on your seventh playthrough and still reference the vids. Good to hear, man. Yeah, there's a lot of information to, to get back above ground. uncover about this game. It feels like a tomb down here. Feels like a tomb. Is that foreshadowing? They fly to him from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. Well, the ancestors are dead, Elva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? <laughs> How else could they be ancestors? Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. Bree, you're on PS4, but the water started being odd recently? I'm not sure what... I'm not sure what you mean. Like the, do you mean the waves in the ocean started getting weird looking? Fire won't do much. Machines. We can fight them. Or try to sneak past. <laughs> Your call. I mean, obviously, we're gonna fight him, Alva.
god, that wing burner, Alva. Oh, fire claw strike. by an owl. All right, let's make sure we loot that claw strider. Caldo, is the main story almost over? Um, it goes pretty quickly after this for the base game. So I actually kind of like, after after Seeds of the Past, I sort of recommend like looping back and doing all the side content you want to do because you're going to pretty quickly end up at the last main quest in the base game if you just keep going with the main quests at this point. So yeah, we sort of are like rapidly getting there. But since we're on the complete edition and we have the Burning Shores DLC, there's quite a bit more after that. The entrance to the complex. 
Looks like it's locked off. Right behind you. Maybe we can get through that hatch on the ground. It looks like the one we used at the first station. There's consoles up here, too. I know where to get to them. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. This one won't budge. Maybe one of the others. I think I can move these things. What are some can't miss side quests? There we um, go. Well, we did. Huh. I did signal spike. There's some space back there to get the spin thorn. I think that's a good one if you like drill spikes for knockdown or damage. Um, let's see. I think clearing all the rebel camps, the the big ones, which unlocks. I, mean, I don't want to spoil stuff, but if you clear all the main rebel camps. You'll be able to get a legendary piece of gear. That's really good. Uh, what else? In the Burning Shores, there's a side quest that upra upgrades a special weapon that you would definitely want to do, I would say. I mean, I'm definitely... Would, would you mind warning me next time you decide to, um, uh, blow up a wall? I'll, uh, try. <laughs> I'll try. Can't promise anything, Alva. I'm kind of a completionist, so I do everything. There we go. That looks like some sort of conveyor. You think you can move it over to me? Yeah. If you can hop on top of it, I can get you to those consoles. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good one. The gauntlet runs and the relic ruins will both get you really good legendary weapons if you do them all. So I think Hold those are definitely there. worth doing. Let me just... I jumped on top. Good job. Hold Oliver. on. Wait, there's data here. A, a lot, but it's blocked. Something's restricting access. If I can't get past it, my mission here is doomed. Alva, I'll help if I can, okay? But first we have to get out of here. Right. We need to open the hatch. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. There should be a power I cell I found the inside. energy cell. Then you need to find a way into the generator room. Okay, I'm on it. me now on my way um yeah i'd say those are skippable tray if you don't care for them i mean you're gonna miss out on legendary gear at the arena if you don't do the, if you don't do the at least some of the arena i 
Should be able to reach Alva upstairs now. Okay. We need to operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You stay here. I need to shorten that stream elements message about spoilers so it doesn't do it in two messages. Ready when you are. Okay, you ready? On two. One, two. Commencing adamantine reef vulnerability test scenario 12C15. Okay, that's where we need to go. Magnetic field engaged. Initiating biomass conversion process. Mm -mm. What? No, 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 no. How do I shut this thing off? Failsafe exceeded. Test cannot be aborted. What is this? That's how the world ended. Test complete. Adamantine reads structural integrity. Uncompromised. What did we just see? Alva. Let's meet below. Yeah, Sheldon, I was going to say that too. It's interesting it doesn't consume the entire organism. Like just the leaves. I share with you, okay? Test log. Um, uh, I think it's Tuesday. The second? Who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's jam-packed with irony. We developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. And now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Well, it works. War machines won't be able to eat the reeds. But can we deploy them in time? God, I hope so. I don't understand. Your ancestors? They were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? The time of ashes. But most of the data about that is lost or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you could see her bones. They will starve. Alva. Alva, I get it. I do. It's hard to explain, but you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. I'm not sure I understand. But... Every secret... 
makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. Follow. We need to keep moving. Test station Ivy can't be far off. Guys, Alva's been trained her entire life to believe something. You can't really blame her for that. If your entire society was telling you another maze that something worked a certain way, is never a straight line. you would also believe it. So the metal flowers, what the data referred to as adamantine wreaths, they were supposed to stop the destruction that caused the time of ashes? Looks like it. Looks like it goes all the way to the surface. Well, I think we're under the proving grounds. Maybe it connects the rig to the tower. Best not to linger here long, then. So, I never asked. Are you from around here? No. Are you from around here? I'm not. I am. Spent most of my life in a place far to the east. Oh, we've both traveled a long way, then. <sighs> Holy damn, down here. This is it. Okay. Let's find a way to get into the proving ground. That complex should be Test Station Ivy. Well, let's hope it holds the answers we seek. It's so... still. Yeah. Keep your guard up. It's one of those machines. It can turn invisible. We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station. You with me? Yes. Fangs. Oh, 
In my shots here. Calling my target. We do not have strong enough frost arrows. You helped. We should be able to get into Testation Ivy now. One thing, two things. Big green dread wing is a dead wing. Oh yeah, 25% components here, that's sweet. We shouldn't linger here. It's carrying one of the metal flowers. There might be more machines. Is that how they've been distributed? Airdrops from these machines? Sven, um, I'm going to warn you right now. Just drop this whole argument about Alva. You're probably offending people in the chat here who like Alva. And you really have no reason to be arguing about it, so just drop it. There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus will see what mine cannot. Oh, that's interesting. Find something? The fourth test station. Willow. It looks like it's underwater. Huh. That might be worth a look sometime. The fourth test station. This console's still operational. Another log. We're done in every way. The reeds work. And Cobble came through on a way to destroy them. Downloading a coded key into the deployment shell triggers an enzyme that causes the reeds to eat themselves from within. But it's too late. 
The latest projections from U.S. Robot Command have swarm reproduction, outpacing our ability to drop the shells by 375%. Not even close. I guess we deserve this. I deserve it for what I made here. This will be my last log before evacuation. So all their efforts were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module into my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. Uh, I'm not sure if she's an alpha twinge. I think she is, but she's clearly not in the Zero Dawn facility. That must be the fourth testing station we saw on the map. Looks like it's been flooded for a while. In here. We'll have to climb up. Right behind you! Has anyone noticed a performance difference after the update? Yeah, I have. I was saying that at the beginning of the stream, actually. I, I can get like a solid 120, and I don't need to use frame gen or for the step. We can use the line to get down. DSR anymore. I have DLSS quality on. Right! Easy! Fine cutter. Now what? Now we get to that data core. As I still can't believe you took on all these soldiers by yourself. But we'd better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Right. Codeman, there was a patch. It might have been yesterday, actually. The 1.1. And then there's a new NVIDIA driver as well that fixes... Apparently there was an issue with rebar. We're in the wrong area. Um... There was an issue with rebar working correctly, I guess, which I think is probably the biggest thing making a difference with frame rate. Big trees. Zanya, you are watching the new Dune. Nice. Do you enjoy it? Let's hope this new module works. I don't know if they've fixed the reflex issue. They didn't say that in any of the notes. So they may still be working on that. Flowers blooming. Let's see if the software works. Fine. They're falling apart. Door's clear now. I really like Dune Part 2 and the first one. The data core looks intact. Time to bring Demeter home. Demeter, it's time to go home. To Gaia. You see it alive. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Demeter's subordinate function to original code. I feel like Demeter's the most complacent of them. It's like, the seed of life? Okay, I'll go. What did you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But they kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. 
You were right. Hundreds of archives, almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this, but we don't have that kind of time. What you said before about... <laughs> By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come, look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers! Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, look at her! Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you. An ancestor reborn. An ancestor reborn. Diviner. We should bring the ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith <laughs> is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but they're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal? How long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south, and it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. Alpha says. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. But I might want to head to that tall neck I saw in the forest before I make the trek back. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier. Okay, Crane, good to see you, man. A Dune video game. They actually are working on Dune Awakening. But it's a multiplayer uh, online survival game. But it sounds like it will be able to be played single player if you want. But yeah, I kind of wish they were doing it as like a big narrative driven single player game. I feel, cold enough for a I feel like it would do so well. And you got you got lost in Bryce Canyon when you were a kid. That must have been kind of scary. I was in Bryce like mm, six weeks ago. I could definitely see how you get lost. It's a little disorienting down there. It is good to see you again, Aloy. I see you have recovered Demeter. Thanks, Scott. Glad you found the tutorials helpful. Good to see you here on the stream. Yeah, Foss, I don't know why they don't use the voice more. Aloy. With the acquisition of Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus. And fortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. With Varl's encouragement, 
Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beamcast, and the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I've been there. The Tanakh marked the entrance as some kind of ritual ground. We'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport rig. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work! I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it! Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher- Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone, will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I feel like if they sold I'll Beta's make sure she has what she needs. Outfit as merch, they would sell like hotcakes. Like they look really like nice pajamas, don't they? Like they could do a male and female version of it. I'd buy a set, hundred percent. Additional room near the servers. Understood. So this Hephaestus, he's like. Uh, All right, we're not going to do Gemini. Um, I think this is actually probably a good place for us to stop the stream for today. And I think I'll be able to stream tomorrow as well. Aloy, I hear you're heading to the coast. If you need to resupply en route, I suggest stopping in Falls Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got it. Thanks for the advice. Let me switch over here. Yeah. I think we're going to end the stream there today, guys. Um, a little bit shorter than normal, I guess, but it's kind of a good stopping point. But I hope you guys enjoyed it today. I hope you had a good time on the stream. Hope everybody's having a good Friday and going to have a good weekend. I will post on all my socials and Discord and everything um, if I schedule a stream for tomorrow. I think I will. Pretty sure I will. And uh, yeah, happy birthday to Aloy. Belated one by one day. Negative 997. 
Am I going to do some cauldrons tomorrow, Eagle? Yeah, we could probably do a cauldron. We haven't done a cauldron in... I think we've only done one cauldron so far. So we should do some. And if you guys want to chat more or need tips on the game or anything like that, feel free to join the Discord server. The link's in all my video descriptions and the stream description. So you're, you're all welcome to come join the Discord server and hang out with the community. Lots of people here are on Discord. And I'm pretty active there as well. So be cool to see you there. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed today. Have a good Friday, evening, morning, Saturday morning, maybe for some of you. Good weekend either way. And I will probably see you all tomorrow. See you guys. <laughs>